In this lesson, we will learn about voltage drop. So we will learn how to calculate for the voltage drop in electrical circuits. Okay, so when we say voltage drop, how does this happen? So what happens is that anytime a voltage drives current through a resistor, some of the voltage drops across the resistor. Okay, and this is what we term as what the voltage drop. So with this voltage here, that's at the, that's from the source here. So when this voltage drives current through this resistor R1 here, some of the voltage will be dropped across this resistor due to the resistance that the resistor is what is offering here. Same way, some of the voltage will also drop across this resistor here due to the resistance that the resistor is what offering here. So this is what is termed as what the voltage drop. So one thing you should know is that for resistors in a series connection, okay, so when you add the voltage drop across each of the resistors, it should be equal to the total voltage from the source. So in this case, when I add the voltage drop V1 and then the voltage drop V2, it should be equal to what? the total voltage V from the source. But for parallel connection of resistors, that wouldn't be the case. When you have resistors connected in a parallel form, the voltage from the source will be the same as what the voltage drop across each of the resistors. So when I have five volts here from the source, that means the voltage across this resistor R1 here will be five volts. And then same way, the voltage across this resistor R2 here will also be what, five volts. But that wouldn't be the case for series connection of what resistors. So let's look at how to calculate for the value of what voltage drop across a resistor. Okay, so to calculate for the value of a voltage drop across a resistor, you just have to find a product of what the current and then the resistance of that resistor. And then when you find a product of these two, that will help you find the voltage drop across the resistor. So in this case, and I consider R1 here, okay, this resistor R1 here, if I want to find a voltage drop across it, which is V1, I just have to find the product of what? The current flowing through this resistor and then the resistance. So in this case, the voltage drop V1 will be equal to the current I multiplying the resistance R1, okay? So that would be the voltage drop V1. Okay, this is because this is a series connection. And so the current I here, okay, is that same kind of flow through this resistor R1 and then the same kind of flow through this resistor R2. So you just have to find the product of this current and then this resistance value. So if I want to find the voltage drop V2, that one will also be V2 will, will be equal to the current I multiplied by the resistance value R2, that's R sub 2. So this will give me the value of what the voltage drop V2. And you remember that I said that for series connection, when you sum the individual voltage drops, it should be equal to what? the total voltage from the source. So in that case, that means voltage, that the total voltage from the source, will be equal to it, V1 plus V2. Okay, so in this case, when you're asked to find V1, you will just have to make V1 the subject. So if we are asked to find V1, V1 will be equal to the total voltage V minus what? V sub 2. And then when you're asked to find V2, which is the second voltage drop, that one will also be equal to the total voltage V minus V sub 1. So when you, when you use this formula, you will be able to calculate for the, the voltage drop across these two resistors. So for a better understanding, let's take some few examples to understand this better. Okay, so I have the first example on the screen here. 
This is that we should calculate for the value of what i and r in the circuit loop. So we are going to apply the voltage drop formula here. Okay. So look at what is happening here. This is a series connection, and we know that what the sum of the voltage drop across these two resistors should be equal to the voltage from the source. But in this case, you know the voltage drop across this resistor R here, and we don't know the voltage drop across this resistor here. So how are you going to find it? So you are going to use the formula V equals V1 plus V2. But we know V to be what 10 volts. Okay, so 10 equals V1. And then we know V1 to be what 4 volts was 4 plus V2, that's V sub 2. So I'm representing the voltage across this 3 ohms resistor is what V sub 2. And then the voltage here will be what V sub 1. Okay, and then this one here will be V. So we know that what V is 10 volt and then V sub 1 is what 4 volt and also V sub 2 we don't know yet so we have to solve for that one. So when I do this, this will be 10 minus 4. This will be equal to what? V sub 2. So this will be 6 equals V sub 2. So this will give me V sub 2 to be equal to what? 6 volts. So this 6 volts will be the voltage across across what this 3 ohms resistor here. Okay, so now that you know the voltage across this 3 ohms resistor, we've been asked to find what the current I. But you know we have A series connection here okay so it's the same kind of flow across these two resistors okay so for that case when you when we are able to find a current across one of the resistors this is the same kind of flow across the other okay so looking at this we don't need the value of r here so we can't find the current across this resistor here but here i know the value of this resistor here Okay, which is 3 ohms and then I know the voltage across it also which is of 6 volts so in, with these two values we can calculate for the current across this resistor and then that will be the same current that will flow across this resistor also okay and that will be the value of what this i here so to calculate for the value of this i here we use the formula v2 equals i times the 3 ohms Okay, which is this three ohms here. So I will be equal to V sub 2 divided by 3. And then we know V sub 2 to be 6 volts. So that will be 6 divided by 3. And then that will give me a value of 2 amperes. So now we have what I to be 2 amperes. So now that you know the I, which is the current flowing across these two resistors, we can now calculate for the value of what R. Okay, for this resistor here. So we use the formula V sub 1 equals I times what? R. Okay, but we know V sub 1 to be 4. Okay, so now from here, let's make R the subject. So making R the subject, that will be V sub 1 divided by I will be equal to R. So that will give us R to be equal to v sub 1 divided by what i but i know v sub 1 to be 4 volts so be 4 divided by i which is what 2 amperes and this will give me a value of what 2 ohms so that will be the value of what r so you got i if you got to 2 amperes and then you got the r to be equal to what 2 ohms Okay, so let's try our hands on this question also. So the question is that what is the value in ohms of R in the circuit below? So what this means is that you should calculate for the value of R here in ohms, okay, using this circuit here. Okay, so how are you going to do this? So from the previous question, we are able to calculate for the value of what? The voltage here okay which i'll name as v2 and then i name this one as what v1 okay so we're able to calculate for the value of this voltage here v2 by subtracting this voltage here from the total voltage here. 
So I'm going to apply the same method here so that we'll be able to find the value of this current. Then when you find the value of this current, since they are in series, you will, you will be able to use the value of this current to compute for the resistance value here. So first of all, let's find for the value of what V2. So since V equals V1 plus V2, then V2 will be equal to uh, V minus V1. Okay, but you know V to be 10 volts, so V2 will be equal to the 10 volts minus V1, which is what 4 volts minus 4. So this will give me the value of V2 will be equal to 6 volts. Okay, so now that you know the value of what V2, you can solve for the current I in this circuit. Okay, so after solving for the current I, then you can now calculate for the value of what R. So using the value of what V2 and then the resistance value 2 ohms, you calculate for the value of what I. So this is the formula V2 equals I times R2, okay, which is these two ohms here. So that gives me V2 will be equal to I, which we don't know, okay, I, which we don't know, times R2, which is what, 2 ohms. In this case, since you know the value of what V2 to be 6 volts, let's take out the V2 and then write the 6 volts there. So in this case, you have I. You can find I by dividing both sides by 2. Both sides by 2. So this will give us I to be equal to 3 amperes. Okay, that's this two will cancel these two. And then this two will go into this three, six three times. So we get I to be equal to what? 3 amperes. Okay, so now that you know the value of I, you can come and calculate for the value of this R here. So that's V1 will be equal to I times what? R. Okay, so solving for R, we we'll make R the subject. So we divide by I. We divide by I. So we then cancel out. So we we'll have what? R to be equal to V1 divided by what? I. But you know V1 to be 4 volts. And then I to be very ample. So this will give us R to be equal to 4 over 3 ohms. And that will be equal to 1.33 ohms. That will be the value for R here. Okay, so let's try our hands on the next question also. Okay, so with this question too, we have to solve for the voltage value V in the circuit below. So I have to calculate for this voltage value here. Okay, so looking at the circuit, you know the value of the resistance is in the circuit here. And then you know the current flowing through the circuit. And we learned earlier on that in a series connection, the sum of the voltage drops across each of the individual resistors will be equal to the total voltage in the circuit. So in this case, the total voltage from the source is represented with this V here. And then we will have to calculate for the total voltage. So to, for us to be able to get this total voltage, we have to calculate for the voltage drop across each of the resistors here. Okay, and then now help us find the value for this V here. So I'll first calculate the voltage drop across the 3 ohms resistor. So I mean, I'll name that one V1. Okay, so V1 will be equal to the resistance times the current. And then the current in this circuit is the 3 amperes. Here. So that will be V1 will be equal to 3 ohms times the 3 amperes. And that will be equal to 9 volts. Okay, and then the resistance across the 10 ohms. That will be V2. I'll name that one V sub 2. So that will be equal to the resistance times current. That's 10 times 3 ampere and now give me the value of what 30 volts okay and then the third voltage of that's v3 this up to be equal to the resistance times the current so that will be 5 times 3 so now be equal to 15 volts but you know that what the sound of the voltage drop across each of the resistors will be equal to 
the voltage from the source. That's to say that V will be equal to V sub 1 plus V sub 2 plus V sub 3. So this will be equal to 9 volts plus 30 volts plus the 15 volts. This will give us the value of what? 54 volts. So that will be the value of what? this V, which is the total voltage in the circuit. So this is how to apply the voltage drop in the calculation of what voltages across circuits in a series connection. Thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell to receive notifications when new videos are released. Thank you.